Hey folks, Ira here. I hope you've had a great Thursday. Thanks for tuning in for the Earthquake Report. Today is April the 14th, 2016. Today is also known as International Moment of Laughter, Look Up at the Sky, National Pecan, and my personal favorite, Reach as High as You Can Day. I kid you not. All right, Earthquake Report time. Here we go. As of 7.21 p.m. Eastern Time, we have clocked in 212 earthquakes for the day. This brings our weekly total to 1,401. Over the past seven days, we have clocked in six, magnitude six plus earthquakes, four of which rattled the planet today. Japan clocked in a 6.2 and a 6.0. At least nine people have died and more than 250 are injured. Not only this, but multiple buildings have been toppled and power has been cut across southern Japan. To give you an idea as to the intensity of these quakes, Japan's seismology office recorded the shaking at some places to be as intense as a huge magnitude 9 earthquake that hit the country in 2011. After the earthquake, thousands fled their homes and camped out under the stars in open areas. If you stop to think about it, it's pretty eye-opening. Officials have stated that the nuclear reactors on the island were not affected, although I'm not so certain they would actually report if there was in fact a problem. Anyone who has been monitoring conditions around the Fukushima reactors knows exactly why I think this. Outside of the two powerful earthquakes, numerous aftershocks have been experienced. A total of 21 have been clocked in thus far. The least intense to have struck the area has been a 4.5. Guys, before moving on, I just want to say that it might be a good idea to consider maybe giving to programs like the Red Cross. Perhaps donate blood or some spare funds if you have some. I happen to be a firm believer in good karma, and from the looks of things, we could probably use some. Vanuatu registered two magnitude 6 earthquakes today as well, a 6.5 and a 6.0. No damage or injuries have been reported, and there hasn't been any threat of tsunamis. This area has also experienced an aftershock. This was at 5.2. All of today's earthquakes to hit Vanuatu have struck none other than Port Ulri. With the exception of a few, the majority of the intense earthquakes struck around the Ring of Fire. We see that our comrades in Russia registered a 5.7. This is no doubt associated to the earthquakes that struck Japan today. It is in this area that the Pacific Plate subducts into the mantle beneath what is proposed to be a regional subdivision of the North American Plate. ADCA Alaska clocked in a 5.2. Puerto Madero, Mexico was shaken by a 4.4. Chile finally decided to join the party. They have experienced a 5.1 as well as a 4.3. And Argentina continues to see movement. They experienced a 4.7 today. Finally, moments ago, Indonesia clocked in a 5.7. The lone, intense earthquake that did not hit along the Ring of Fire struck the Ascension Island. This, my friends, is an isolated volcanic island in the equatorial waters of the South Atlantic Ocean, around 1,000 miles from the coast of Africa. The last eruption to occur there was approximately 700 years ago. Interesting. Speaking of interesting, we are experiencing an earthquake swarm striking the Virgin Islands. They have clocked in 39 earthquakes today, all of which have hit Charlotte Amalie. Scientists in and around the Virgin Islands are keeping tabs on this, as this swarm mimics a sequence that has been observed elsewhere just before the arrival of a large, disastrous earthquake. Apparently, the territory is overdue for one. That's definitely interesting. The strongest to strike the Virgin Islands was a 3.6. If we look to the states, we'll see that California has been very quiet today. Only 53 have struck the state thus far, the most intense there being a 2.6 in Soledad. This falls in line with our observations. Typically, you can count on California to go quiet after we experience large-scale earthquakes elsewhere along the Ring of Fire. In typical fashion, we saw an increase in earthquake activity in Oregon today. Nine have been registered thus far, the average magnitude being a 1.6, all of which struck our pals in Lakewood, the strongest to hit the Beaver State being a 2.0. Finally, the New Madrid seismic zone continues to experience movement. Not only over the past several days have we clocked in earthquakes along this fault, but today, care of Ridgely, Tennessee, it was hit once again this time around with a 1.8. 
outside of this, seismic activity within the United States has been quiet. I encourage you, if you haven't already, spend some time preparing for events like that of which we have experienced today. Set aside some food, medicine, etc., just in case. And that is it for the Earthquake Report. Make certain to comment below and provide us your thoughts on today's events and what may or may not be in store for us going forward. Make certain to like and subscribe, share if you feel inclined. Also, if you like the social media thing, you can link to us via the standard allotted social sites in the description. We'll end this report with a video feed from our favorite star. Have a great night, guys. Hoorah!